Hi guys, welcome back to more Simulation Protocol. My name is Silver Contrail, and we are playing Simulation Protocol 2 Overload. Um, we're in Lushwood Sanctuary. This is an offshoot of Intersection 1. And uh, we're hopefully going to find a bull. I hope. I hope. I just got some stone tools. I got some uh, cobblestone that was in this area. So I'm loaded up with stone tools, and I am ready to put them to use. Um... Some cool new things have happened since I uh, kind of stopped recording for a while. Put down a torch. Oh, jeez. Of course, there's spiders here. Um, first of all, I got a uh, a new mouse. Um, cause I, like I've been complaining about my oh, oh shoot, this guy's gonna completely take me out. I've been complaining about my previous one for a while. Um, and yeah, there's still those spawners up there. Um, so I finally broke down and I got a mouse. I got a serious mouse this time that spent... Um, do all these guys have enchanted bows? Oh shoot, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh boy, I want one, one, one heart. Oh... <laughs> Easy skeletons, man. Wait, why don't I have armor on? No wonder I'm taking so much damage. I don't have any armor. Where the heck did he go? Oh, wow. How did I come down here without armor? How did I even pull that off? All right. Well, I guess I guess we're gonna head back and grab some armor. Yeah. Let me talk a little bit about my mouse. Um, this is a Logitech uh, G502. It's a wired gaming mouse. Um, I got it on Tuesday, so I've had it for three days now. Two days now. Two days. Well, I guess almost three days. Um, before this, I've never owned a serious mouse, nothing anywhere near this expensive. Um, that is not a really, that's going to break in no time at all. Um, I've never really owned a gaming mouse, so it's a very different experience um, to actually have something that's you know, built from the ground up for gaming. There we go. Sweet. Um, I like it. You know, programmable buttons is always, it's always pretty cool. It's got, uh, you know, obviously your mouse one, your mouse click. It's got two side buttons, two buttons off of the right finger or off of the, uh, index finger. And I think that's it. Oh, it's got a button in front of the thumb as well, in front of the thumb rest. Um, it also comes with like weights so you can change the weights on it. And it's got a really cool LED on it. It feels really nice. It's very comfortable, um, which is, of course, mostly what I'm looking for. Something that's very comfortable to use. And this dead ends. Sweet. Totally not what I was hoping for. Um, oh, check these guys out. Maybe we should go up here. And uh, build a cross. Oh boy. Uh, but I've been using it lately to play Borderlands, the pre sequel, um, which has been a lot of fun. Oh, there's stone here too. A lot of fun, and that's actually one of the reasons I haven't been recording lately is because I've been super busy um, pretty much marathoning that as well as doing other things. Um, the game is a blast. Oh, there's Ender Pearl. Nice. Uh, I I really enjoy it, um, and I know a lot of people uh, aren't enjoying it. Definitely, you know, it's getting not the best reviews, uh, but I do. I think it's I think it's really cool, and uh, I think it's unfortunate that uh, not as many people are enjoying it. 
I think maybe the best bet. Oh, there's a mushroom in here. <gasps> I wonder if there are more. I don't see any more. Chest down there. There's a chest over there. Man, mushroom would be perfect. Gather some of those guys up. Very, very, very risky. But I guess, I guess if I drop, I won't die. I think I'll, pretty sure I'll survive the fall. The fall. Speaking of fall, I've been playing a lot of Destiny too. Um, Destiny's pretty enjoyable. Um, I think my borderline is obviously more, um, pretty much recently. Um, but I like Destiny, I like Borderlands, I like games like that. Um, kind of the loot grind games. Um, those are, those are some of my favorites. Um, so, yeah, definitely having a lot of fun playing those. Speaking of loot grinds, actually this game's pretty much, this map is pretty much a loot grind. Um, oh shoot, where did you come from? Did you just spawn down here? What's going on, man? Come on. You can't shoot me from there, bro. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. <laughs> now that I'm done coaxing these guys to get close to me. Uh, is that a baby zombie? <laughs> this wooden pick is faster. Come here. Sugar cane and a strength potion. Cool. You know what? I, I think I will equip a bow just for now since I'm getting a lot of these uh, arrows. <laughs> these arrows. What are these things? Are they, are they arrows? Are they. Oh, you know what? You know what? I bet. I bet this is the way to the next intersection. I bet that goes to the next intersection. And, uh,. That goes to the wool. I am wrong. Then I am wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think so anyways, but we'll find out. Ah, dang it. I, mean, I guess it could be worse. This area is definitely not as bad. Oh, I've jinxed, I've jinxed myself now, for sure. This next area is going to be terrible. Um, let's go ahead and combine some bows real quick. Shoot. Hello. Uh, I'm going to need some more torches. I'm probably going to run out. I have to go run back to that charcoal we saw earlier. Probably cut when that happens. All right, you guys need to follow me because I can't kill you. The trick to fighting skeletons is always to make them follow you, because uh, as soon as you get around a corner, they attempt to pursue you to get that clear enough sight. Otherwise, they'll just sit there and shoot you nonstop. Let's see, this guy's gonna come get me, and then you just spring around the corner and you kill them. Not terribly like I just did, but we better. I just saw the flames on. Oh, there's two of them. I wonder if there's more down here. I hope not. Looks like I'm relatively safe for now. Okay. There's probably more spawners over there, so I'm going to keep my distance. It's very, very dark up here. I'm wondering if there's more spawners over here, too. If there are, I have no way of telling. Oh, well. 
speaking of things that have been keeping me busy, um, my brother and I have been working on material energy related stuff. He's actually developing uh, the next material energy for Minecraft 1.7 uh, as we speak. Oh boy, this place is terrifying. There's a gas spawner there. There's a spawner of some sort there. All at once. Okay. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. There's a chest there. I didn't even notice. Sticks, but not charcoal, which is what I'm going to need very, very soon. Sign. Because I can. Interesting. Interesting. What is this potion? Instant health. Okay. Oh, um, best way to tackle this area is going to be to just pillar up and try to take out those spawners before they spawn a million mobs everywhere. What hit me? Oh, stupid skeleton. Dang it. The longer I sit around here and play with these mobs, the more mobs are going to spawn in the dark space. You already see back there it's a lot of skeletons, creepers. Zombies, they're despawning behind me and they're spawning in front of me now. I hate armored skeletons so much. Okay, that's down. I need to get over there. Take this one out. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's out of the way. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's spawners back here too. Are there spawners behind all of these things, I wonder? Oh, maybe there is. I thought there was. I, I wondered if there were spawners on the pillars, but I didn't know. Yeah. There is. Okay. We gotta take these out. Probably should have taken these out first. Again, I didn't really know. Ow, 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 why am I on fire? Why am I on fire? What? What? He should have died. Whatever. My stuff's pretty easy to get to. Oh boy. Well, I'll cut. I'll be back in a second. No more gas. I'm really surprised that that creeper actually killed me. Like, I, I really was not expecting to die there. Do I not have boots? Oh, dang it. My armor does not last very long. <laughs> it's becoming a problem. Alright, let's go take out the spawners. Actually, we don't really need to. Because as long as we stay over here, I don't really need to go do anything with those spawners over there. Okay. These guys are going to rush me, so I'm going to kill them. Oh, this guy has iron armor. Dang it. It's always just like something else. Okay, I'm probably too close to that spawner. Where is that? Oh, it's right there. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it would be best to go along that side too. I don't really want to though. <laughs> You know, I'd rather uh, not mess with it if I don't have to. I wonder if I can get, I can just get around the spawner. If it will trigger. Oh, there it goes. I'll probably just rush past it. Because it looks like that goes down in somewhere. Really? Did you just poison me? Oh, it's like a man block. <laughs> you know you love these jump pads. That's not a jump pad. That's poison me. Oh my. That would be really broken if I just like picked up that command block and then I just moved it somewhere else. <laughs> Obviously, I won't do that because that would be cheating, but it would be funny, you know, to do so and just be like, oh, just give me diamond blocks or whatever. Teleport me to coordinates where wool are and stuff like that. That would be funny to, to go to a challenge map where you have to, uh, you have to use command blocks. It'd be interesting, you know, to get, to get through areas or whatever you have to use uh, a command block or something. Where are my torches? Over there. My inventory is just all over the place right now. Oh, sweet. That's my sword. Sweet. There we go. Figured it out. Always try to keep various stuff together. Um... Actually, don't want you there. I want you right here. Okay. Then go here, and then here. And we can take this out. I'm trying to make it so that I don't have to like make ladders because I don't have any. Wood. I do have some wood, but I really don't want to use it to make ladders. Okay, there are a lot of spawners in here. We gotta get through this whole area. And if we fall, um, oh shoot. I'm probably gonna be too, ah, uh, dang it. Okay, we gotta back down. Ah, uh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. The problem with going through that area up there is I'll be probably too close to that gas spawner. We need to take out that gas spawner before we go in here. And I hear skeletons already. All right, we're gonna just uh, try to take out all of the spawners on that side too, I think. Look at that. Almost got them all. Yes! I am victorious! Uh, what's down here? Close one? Okay. Um, I don't see any skeletons, so let's just pill her up and try to take this out before it spawns a ghast and shoots me in the face. I gotta go way higher. Gotcha. Alright, where are you, spawner? The worst thing about breaking gas spawners is you can never see exactly where the spawner block is. And it's kind of a pain. No explosion times this time, creeper. <laughs> okay, so let's get up here again, and we will try to... This time, make it through that gauntlet of spawners. Are these spider jockeys? Dang it. Oh, that's not good. 
guys coming from? Oh, I must have made him spawn when I came up here. Um, briefly. Okay, these guys shouldn't be able to get across. The spiders can't, I think. Can just place this here, or they will push each other off. Yep, that works. I want to put a torch down. I can't get close enough to do so. Maybe if I bridge it across. As long as no skeletons suddenly appear, I should be okay. All right, there we go. That'll limit their spawning spaces and spaces, spaces. To limit their spawning spaces. Come here. Is there a reason why I can't place a block here? Weird. Oh, there it goes. Come here, too. Come here, bro. Oh, well. Hee <laughs> hee on these skeletons. Okay, good. Good. Excellent. Um, <laughs> okay, so now we need to build a cross. And almost there. Almost there. Pretty much there. Put down a torch. Hopefully limit how much they spawn. Put this here so I can knock them off when they come my way. Come on. There we go. Torch here. And light up here. Oh boy, there are skeletons. Okay, the next one's going to be the most difficult. I should probably make a wall so that they can't shoot me off. But if one spawns with a punch bow, you can still knock people off of uh, one high wall. I know that from many, from many times playing CTMs, or not CTMs, but Race for Wool. Uh, you can still knock people off um, with a punch bow, um, over a, even if they put a wall up behind them. Okay, let's go try to take this out while standing behind some cover. Okay, what's in here? Stuff. Not really going to help. Come lots and lots of guys. They're coming to have fun and party, party, party all the time. Oh shoot! What did I do that for? That was dumb of me. No! No! Why did it explode? Why did he explode? I was dead. Oh. All right, let me cut for a bit. All right, I am too upset to continue playing, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Next time, we will hopefully complete Lushwood Sanctuary. Ah, oh, just dumb decisions, dumb decisions all the time. I'm up to eight deaths now. This map is definitely a lot harder than uh, Animosity. Anyways, um, again, sorry for not uploading recently. Uh, hopefully you guys didn't hear my mouse wheel too much. Um, it is pretty loud. The only, probably the only thing I don't like about this mouse is the mouse wheel. Um, but yeah, I gotta get ready to go. It's probably not, oh, probably don't have a lot of stuff left over there either really sucks. I think we're going to have to make some new stuff and go back there. Might have to go get some coal down there. Oh, well. uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully you'll have this episode and the other ones up soon because uh, I'd like to get more regular episodes up again. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and until next time then.